Thank you for joining us. I'm Karen Larson. First at six, some Oklahoma lawmakers working to provide relief for families at the grocery store. Tune News Oklahoma's Naomi Kidd explains how lawmakers say House Bill 3621 could help. The bill passed a House committee vote this week, and the shoppers I talked with tell me they hope it becomes a reality. We know that now more than ever, people need that relief. A trip to Oasis Fresh Market Thursday afternoon showed plenty of shoppers filling up their carts. Everything from meats to produce, canned goods to fresh veggies. I told shopper DeAndre Hayes about the bill lawmakers say could make the final total at the checkout line a bit cheaper. I think the legislators need to make this a priority to pass this bill to lighten this burden off of people, and I think that Tulsa will be better for it. Oklahoma is one of only 13 states that has a sales tax on groceries. Shopper Star Hayes lives in Michigan and doesn't pay that tax. People that are already impoverished and who are struggling to buy groceries, how many pay an additional tax? on grocery and food, that's a necessity. It's ridiculous. The bill would cut the 4.5% state sales tax in phases, eliminating the tax completely by 2024. You'd still have to pay local taxes though. They use them for things like fire, police, public safety. House Minority Leader Emily Virgin authored the bill. She told me the state sales tax goes into the general fund to pay for state programs. She says now's a good time to cut the tax because the state is in a good financial position. We should give some of that money back to folks in in the form of this sales tax relief. Minority Leader Virgin says she's hopeful the initiative will pass this session because there's some bipartisan support. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Naomi Kitt, 2 News, Oklahoma.